All right, we're thinking of traveling to Montenegro with a family and children. Well, that's what we've done. We're traveling with four children, the six of us, uh, going throughout different parts of Montenegro. I'm super excited to share this experience with you. We're uh, going to different cities, starting off in Perast. Beautiful by the water, got a little Airbnb there. Walk right down to the restaurants, access some nice beaches, go on boat ride. And then whew, we're gonna head on over just above Tivat, close to Puerto Montenegro. Beautiful modern house overlooking the sea going to go and explore from there different beaches beach clubs and see what they're still going to share all of that with you then we head up to the mountains to the town of Kolashin which in the winter is a ski resort there's mountain activities to do we can go do some quad I go swim in some rivers go check out some lakes and then we're going to also be back down finally at the end of our trip down in the Bay of Kotor in the Tivat area house right on the water so if you're considering coming to Montenegro it's so hard looking online we you know we struggled a bit to get a sense what can we do with the kids what can we go what's this beach club like so it's gonna be kind of a rapid fire video just sharing a little bit the places we were and the activities we found and did uh, so hopefully it's useful it's a bit different than our normal videos about our investments here we're investing in Montenegro in real estate uh, to build some houses beautiful project in Krasici nice wonderful project of three houses in but we thought you know what let's bring the kids let's go around and explore and share our experience with you uh, if you're considering either just coming to travel to Montenegro with your family or maybe you're invested interested in investing and you can kind of see what the country has to offer so I hope you enjoyed the video here we go so first you must what you might wonder why did we choose Montenegro well you see Planning a holiday with four children with plenty of activity for everyone, well, that can be a challenge, especially when three are teenagers and the most common words are, I'm bored and nothing seems to compete with them being on their phones. So we needed diversity and plenty of options for the kids, but also for us parents. And we didn't want to be in a packed resort or on some beach in the Mediterranean where there's tons of people, which is often the case uh, in the summer months in August. So the plan was to find a beautiful country with tons of activities and decent rates. And so we settled on the beautiful country of Montenegro. Now Montenegro is just stunning. It has a rich history and culture and has been growing in popularity as a tourist destination. The small country is actually a little smaller than the US state of Connecticut and it has tons to offer with this spectacular coastline dotted with picturesque towns and villages, many of them well preserved from centuries past. And Montenegro's inland region features lush mountains and valleys that are perfect for exploring on foot or by bicycle. The country has such a diverse and incredibly beautiful landscape with mountains, beaches, forests, lakes and rivers. It's really the perfect destination for those who love outdoor activities. But how did it go? Did the kids like it? Where did we end up going and what did we do? Well, our adventure starts in our first location, the town of Perast. The beautiful little town of Perast is an absolute must-see with scarcely more than 300 residents. It stretches one and a half kilometers along the seafront of the beautiful Bay of Kotor. The incredibly well-preserved and one of the most beautiful Baroque towns in Montenegro was originally inhabited mostly by fishermen, mariners, and traders. Today, it attracts visitors from around the world with its breathtaking location, incredible stone buildings, squares, romantic waterfronts, lots of churches and baroque palaces. The views from Paras over the water are sublime. And since in the summer they limit the access to cars, you can sit on the waterfront to enjoy breakfast, lunch, or just watch the beautiful sunsets, which is exactly what we did, trying every day a different restaurant, loving the fresh seafood and most beautiful views. You can easily walk from one side of town to the other in a matter of minutes, or explore the narrow walkways between the stone houses. All right, time to walk around Peras, and I'll take you on a little tour. One thing that's nice in Peras is since it's not that big, uh, in terms of the number of places you can stay, a lot of people come for the day and um, you know come to see it, explore, have some lunch. So in fact, even though we're in the peak season in August, we actually find it wasn't that hard if we made a reservation in the morning for the evening to be right over the water. 
which is this nice because the size limits the amount of people. So it does get busy, but it's not like some places, you know, and go to Saint-Tropez or south of France, where it just gets slammed in the summer. It's uh, it's really nice feeling. In the morning, every morning we just woke up and just walked out, tried a new restaurant, just had some breakfast, some eggs, some, you know, crabs, just beautiful, just right over the water. You can see these little restaurants. Every morning we tried a new one. And um, it's really beautiful for that in terms of just a certain quietness. Here's a Heritage Grand Paras five star. Beautiful hotel, really. Uh, what's really nice with the Heritage um, is they have their pool. Now, there's not many places, there's some villas. We saw some beautiful villas on the Airbnb with their own pools, but most places have like nice view, little terraces. But here, the Heritage has an area where you can just lie out in the sun or go by the pool, which is really beautiful. And um, we decided to get an Airbnb just right over the water. You know, nice little place, you open up in the morning, you have the air. I'm just gonna show you here is, for, you know, you have the boats arriving and you just have the pool area right here. You can see, just beautiful, the long chairs. If you're staying at the hotel and people coming for the day can come with a boat or head on out to the island. So um, it's really nice. Now, one of the things I really like about Paras is they limit the cars. So they close the road, you have to park before or after the town. And even though you'll see a few cars, it's only the hotels. And here's the, the restaurant from the Heritage Grand Paras. You can see it's beautiful with the water. We had a wonderful breakfast the other day. And you can just see here, just look at this. I mean, the views are incredible. Look at this, just beautiful. And you can see that despite the fact that we're in the peak of the summer in the month of August, it's nice and quiet. And that's one thing I love about Perast is you go out at night, don't have to book a week in advance. You know, we've been booking in the morning for the evening. Every night we got right over the water, beautiful fish. Um, here's the Harmonia, little uh, breakfast and restaurant. We had some breakfast the other day. Every day we've been trying new places. You can see with a little covered area, green area. And um, so you yeah, just, Paras you have all along the water, just here, just so quiet, you know, these little plazas, you can see right behind me. With the traditional stone, the white stone of the houses. So you can see here, just the town, whether it's morning, afternoon, at night time. Just get the beautiful view, the mountains, the green mountains overlooking the water. Just absolutely incredible. You know, the one thing which I always find interesting is if you tell people, oh, we're going to Croatia. Oh, Croatia, of course they know. Tell them Montenegro and they're like, what, Montenegro? Where is that? And then their immediate perception is like, you know, um, not as developed, poor. They don't even realize how beautiful it is. So I can tell you one thing is when Montenegro is going to be on the map, just small country, so beautiful, 600,000 inhabitants, probably one of the first countries going to get access to the EU because they really made lots of progress. You can research it online. In terms of quality of life, you know, people have asked me about prices. We went for breakfast this morning, had an omelette, you know, it's four euros 90. Uh, you have uh, pancakes, you know, five euros in a off on this waterside, right there in the heart of Perast. Now, anybody who's traveled, you know prices and touristy destinations right on the water are gonna be exorbitant. So um, really, you still, it's still very reasonable. So you get this combination of just absolute stunning beauty. I mean, come on, look at this. It's just, I know, I'm just so excited about how beautiful it is. And on top of that, really, really uh, reasonable prices, which makes it a great, great option if you're traveling with a family, because you can come and you're not gonna just explode your budget. So definitely uh, a place to consider. So here's the restaurant Konoba, which is really nice, terrace covered area. And you can see here, and this is right behind us, that's where we're staying in our Airbnb. You can see here the windows, right here, a little balcony. And we're right overlooking the water. So wake up in the morning, open up those blinds, just looking out to the water. So that's where we're staying. 
It's just love this place. It's really beautiful with the sea. And we're going to head out with the kids and go out on the boat and um, explore a little bit uh, the area of the Bay of Kotor, which is, you know, really stunning. So uh, I'm going to head out with the family. All right, here we go. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Here we go. Beautiful day on the water, relaxing and head out to dinner. Walking down Paras is just so beautiful at sunset. My favorite time of the day. Go down and uh, get some fresh food, some fish. And just look at this. Just incredible. And people are still swimming. It's the end of the day. It's seven o'clock in the evening. Well, another beautiful day here in Paras, uh, day two. We're gonna head out to a little beach club out by the water, we'll take a little taxi. It's just down the coast. Over there, got some long chairs, go swimming, have a nice lunch. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna head on out. head to the restaurant or we can head to the beach and where are we right here in Bayo Vacula beautiful little area by the water we're gonna go check it out you can see gorgeous little place got sunbeds a nice little bar restaurant right behind here you can see we have some drinks some food some fresh fruit and we can walk on down to the water and we rented some sunbeds and you'll see here we go. Look at this. See here? Beautiful little swim area, protected. Gorgeous. Look at the colors. 
down there is the town of Kotor in the distance. And uh, yeah, the cruise ships coming in, just the beautiful cliffs. And what I love in the summer here is it stays um, absolutely green. You know, like some places in southern Spain where it gets so gray or, you know, it's just burnt out and dry. You can see here just the mountains and the cliffs, really beautiful. And now we're going to go and head in into the water. This place is just surreal, magical with the mountains, the water. We had so much fun snorkeling, swimming, relaxing. The food at lunch was delicious, really beautiful. So we're gonna be moving to our episode number two, the next location where we're gonna go to the city of Tivat. And there we're gonna go explore. There's so much to do around. There's the beautiful, modern, luxurious seaside development of Puerto Montenegro with restaurants, bars, and there's some beautiful beach clubs right on the Adriatic Sea, turquoise water. We're gonna jump for some cliffs, swim through some caves. So lots of fun with the kids. So that's gonna be coming. So this concludes episode number one. Make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, well, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.